University Hospital of Wales is a major 1,000-bed hospital in the Heath district of Cardiff, Wales. UHW is a teaching hospital of Cardiff University School of Medicine. Construction started in 1963 with the official opening in 1971. It was Europe's first fully integrated hospital and medical school at a cost of a £22 million. The hospital is the third largest university hospital in the UK and the largest hospital in Wales. The hospital was previously part of Cardiff and Vale NHS Trust. In 2009 the trust was dissolved and the hospital is now operated by Cardiff and Vale University Health Board. History Planning for construction of the hospital first began in 1951. The land was provided by Cardiff Council who selected the site based on its accessibility from other parts of Wales as well as within Cardiff. The Welsh Board of Health and University Grants Committee outlined the criteria for an 820-bed hospital in 1953 and proposed a competition for architects to submit plans, although this was not sanctioned until 1958 due to concerns over funding. The competition was launched in April 1959 and judged by Sir Percy Thomas, J. H. Forshaw, F. R. S. York, A. Trevor Jones, and A. R. Cully. Forty entries were submitted and the winning design was by Stanley Wayman Milburn, an architect with a special interest in schools and hospitals and who had previously designed ten hospitals in the northeast of England. The architecture of the hospital is dominated by long, parallel slabs, one eight storied the other five-storied. The Prince Charles Hospital in Murphy Tideville, Wales, completed in 1975, followed a similar design. Construction began in 1963 and the dental school opened to clinical students in 1965. Construction of the main hospital building began in 1966 and the topping out ceremony was conducted by G. R. Finn later on July 4, 1969 the eve of the 21st anniversary of the founding of the National Health Service. The hospital was officially opened by Queen Elizabeth II on November 19, 1971. In 1978 it was discovered that sections of the main building had deteriorated dangerously and a £1 million was spent on repairs. In 1981 the Welsh office revealed that a further a £7.7 million was required for repairs. In 2005 a a £1 million project by base structures to construct a walkway joining separate parts of the hospital was completed. A a £16 million birthing centre was opened at the hospital in August 2009, featuring three birthing pools. The midwife-led unit handles around 90 births a month. A new delivery suite has also been built at the women's unit which was completed in February 2010. It includes 14 delivery rooms and two dedicated operating theatres. Departments equals Accident and Emergency Unit equals, The Accident and Emergency Unit is the third largest in the United Kingdom and treats on average 750 people every weekend in 2009. The unit was scheduled to have AA £3.4 million pounds refit in 2013 but this has been rescheduled due to increased demand on the service and the disruption the work would cause equals transplant unit equals AA 4.27 million pounds transplant unit opened in August 2010. The unit had been planned over three years and is on the top floor of a new building that also houses a renal outpatient a Euro unregistered trademark department. It replaced a unit on Ward B5 to increase availability of kidney transplants in Cardiff. UHW is Valencia Euro unregistered trademark only kidney transplant centre and caters for patients from South, Mid and West Wales. Equals Hospital Radio Equals, the University Hospital of Wales is home to Radio Glamorgan, founded in 1967. In March 2014, the station won three national awards at the National Hospital Broadcasting Association Awards held in Bristol. Equals Media Resources Centre Equals, the University Hospital of Wales is home to one of best medical illustration departments in the UK with expertise in clinical photography, video and graphics. Covering the entire UHW Trust In popular culture, University Hospital of Wales was the subject of the television series Hospital 24-7, a documentary drama from BBC One about patients and staff of the hospital. 
The first season was filmed in August 2008 and broadcast in January 2009. Two further seasons were broadcast in 2010 and 2011. Controversies equals Breaches of the Human Tissue Act equals, In August 2009 post-mortem examinations had to be stopped at the hospital following an inspection which revealed serious breaches of the Human Tissue Act 2004, including the unauthorized storage of human brains. Equals H1N1 virus equals, in November 2009 the first person-to-person -person transmission of Tamiflu-resistant H1N1 in the world was confirmed at the hospital. Five patients were infected, with three apparently having been infected in the hospital itself in a case of iatrogenic transmission. Equals sterility of surgical instruments equals, in June 2010 surgery was discontinued temporarily after surgeons complained the instruments they had been given had not been sterilized properly and were visibly dirty. See also, Noah's Ark Appeal. References External links, University Hospital of Wales is 40 years old. BBC News November 14, 2011. Slideshow of news images taken during the construction of the hospital. Radio Glamorgan official website